At the forest nursery, daily observations of crop status and growing infrastructure are necessary. By implementing daily tasks, like the ones discussed in this video and many more, growers are able to monitor crop health and make amendments to nursery culture as needed. Also, regular and frequent observations will mean noticing issues that arise before they become unmanageable problems. Using guides like the one shown here will help you establish your daily routine, make lists, and keep records. Begin with a walk through the nursery. Walking every aisle in all the irrigation zones will allow you to check your plants for problems and make a list of activities to be accomplished that day. Things to look for include crop damage, discoloration, and signs of insects, pests, or disease. Also, look for areas that need thinning, weeding, or cleaning and take note for later. Next, weigh pre-selected trays from among your crops to determine the water status of those containers. This essential task will help determine whether you will be irrigating a crop that day. Use the same balance so that your measurements are consistent between areas and from day to day. In the summer months, when temperatures are high, take weights more than once a day to ensure that your seedlings have enough water to sustain rapid growth and to prevent the occurrence of permanent damage from desiccation. Take temperatures from around the nursery and within your crop every day. This is more effective than using a tactile assessment. You should have thermometers to measure ambient air temperature as well as temperatures in container media which you can see here. This information goes into nursery records and can be correlated and adjusted to crop growth rates or can be used to gauge the effectiveness of temperature control measures like shading and greenhouses. While irrigating, walk around and inspect your system. Make sure that your crop is being watered uniformly and water isn't pooling or leaking into areas that it shouldn't be. In addition, make sure that your pumps and injectors are functioning and be sure to remove clogs from sprinkler heads and nozzles. Don't forget to check your rodent and insect traps. Keeping these throughout the nursery can reduce the loss of seed or young seedlings and lower the chances of spreading disease to your crop.